Hey, 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 you beautiful twin flames. How are you today? I hope you're having a wonderful day, night, afternoon, evening or morning, wherever you are in the world. And I'm so delighted you could be here with me today. I'm channeling a divine masculine love letter for you. It's going to be a quickie though, not a longie. <laughs> but I think we kind of need to hear from him today. He, he's already speaking now. Wow. Okay. Good. Alrighty. He's got a bit of a story to tell us. Wow. I'm just going to tune in for a moment. So just bear with me. I feel like I want to itch my nose. <laughs> I don't know. There was a show here in Australia and it's called Bewitched. Uh, well, it's an American show. And there was a woman who was a good witch. And she would wiggle her nose. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen that. But I kind of feel like Divine Feminine wants to wiggle her nose. And find out what exactly is going on with her Divine Masculine. Because many of you are missing your Divine Masculine. And are having a hard time tapping in and tuning into him because there are some lower vibrational energies that have been blocking you off. All right. So if you feel like I'm just tapping in again, uh, but if you feel like that's happening to you, contact me and I can do um, an energy removal for you or a reading for you and give you some advice on what to do. Uh, within your twin flame journey alrighty it looks like he's ready to go ready to speak I'm going to put my glasses on today because it helps <laughs> now I look <laughs> really terrible but that doesn't matter we don't care do we do we care no we don't care we just want to know what divine masculine wants to say these glasses actually are available on ebay and I think Amazon and their UV protecting glasses. So you know how if you're looking at the screen a lot or you're on a computer a lot or even the TV. They help your eyes to not be affected by what's going on. Okay. Many divine masculines you may have thought have forgotten about you. They haven't. Many of them are working on their resources and many of them are planning to come to you planning to come across the water or for some of you it might just be down the street <laughs> a really long street okay but he is concentrating uh, on his work right now and manifesting manifesting this love from his soul Okay, so even if you're not seeing anything showing up in your physical reality, just know that there is love here and your divine masculine is on his way. You may receive messages very soon from him, either telepathically or in person. Alrighty. So I'm so excited to bring you Divine Masculine Love Letter today because as we know, when he's in love, oh wow, Divine Masculine Love, that's a beautiful thing. If you've ever seen Divine Masculine Love, you'll know what I'm talking about. Very beautiful. Dear Divine Feminine, I want to tell you that I've had to compensate some other people in my life some of this has been karmic you know I was meant to do this it's kind of set in destiny that these people are around me now however I'm divinely guided to come into you so I want you to feel me. Okay. I don't want you to think about me. Because I know that many of you are 
thinking of me wondering what I'm doing wondering where I am wondering who I'm holding on to perhaps or what I'm holding on to you that could be greater than you I've been meditating or praying or connecting spiritually I've been feeling everything lately feeling some of the feelings that I didn't like some of the feelings that I thought might have been uncomfortable for me but most of all if I'm connected or you're connected to someone else or to another family I'm understanding that there's a massive difference here in that connection so I'm understanding that although those people might need me in my life that I belong to you the other people have hurt me in different ways because of course they are kind of trapped in their own egos and so I'm continually working if you're wondering what I've been doing <laughs> I've been continually working and thinking about some of the secrets with inside of myself some of the passion that I've had inside of myself perhaps even studying some things gaining inner knowledge working on myself and my career this is where I've been many divine masculines have also got mothers that they love very much and so they spend time with them they also understand that they need divine feminine in fact the divine masculine is saying now without you I feel bored lonely perhaps you know it's that feeling you know you bake a roast <laughs> but you forgot the peas and the divine feminine is the peas you know it's like everything else is there every other element there except the peas and so He's communicated with other people around him he's cut them off people who are no longer serving him beginning to cut them off to bring balance anyone that's done him an injustice or has been manipulative divine feminine I have let that go those manipulative people are he wants to go gone you know he wants to throw it away right those people who were mean to me with their words are gone right I'm working and for some of you this pyramid here is going to be significant I'm working on alchemy here I'm going higher I'm reaching higher the other day that song came on um, Steve Winwood and then uh, Whitney Houston did that version bring me a higher love okay if you can listen to that today it will actually increase your energy and it'll make you feel good Steve Winwood higher love okay he's in his heart space divine feminine okay and he wants to he wants to tell you that he's very much knowing that he's in control 
of his physical world. You know, this is someone here that's very much in control of their physical world. Okay, and this is delightful for Divine Feminine who's coming across here as having a lot of knowledge, understanding things well, perhaps even studying herself or studying herself. Divine Masculine wants to say, Divine Feminine, I know without me you feel powerless in many ways. I want you to gain your inner strength and tap into my energy because my energy has the strength divine masculine has the power he also wants to say i don't want you to argue or be defensive with those around you because then your energy diminishes okay anything that's not serving you anything that brings out your ego Divine Masculine is telling you now to let it go. Look at this. This beautiful card here. We are going to be together someday. And that's the truth. Divine Feminine, stop overthinking please. There is no toxicity here unless you bring your mind into this connection. Divine, fem divine masculine is v being very clear, divine feminine. He's, he's asking you to come back into your heart space, come out of the mind, come back into the heart space because there's a victory here, a celebration on its way after a transformation of divine masculine this separation you won't know him when he comes in he'll be renewed he'll be refreshed divine feminine i want you to go out into nature i want you to get some sunshine i want you to nurture yourself as if as if it's me you know how much you love me look at this you know how much you love me divine feminine looking at her masculine thinking about him do this for yourself I am bringing the passion the passion that we once felt is coming back the engagement that you want is on its way I want to say this feeling, this coldness here only comes about when you're overthinking. So if you can get out of your mind, get out of your mind space and stop trapping yourself within these thoughts, I'll be coming in with more than you can imagine wow look at this the the magic the essence of divine feminine only shows through when she remains in her heart space and that's also the truth for Divine Masculine. He is definitely in his heart space. Let it be known that as he is in his heart space, there becomes no confusion about other women. There's no one that compares to Divine Feminine at all. In fact, he feels off balance with other feminines. He's even argued with them in the recent past. Cut them out. Cut them out. You know, he feels like he's repressed. 
he feels like he can't be himself around other feminine energies who aren't his divine feminine you know other other feminine energies that might try and want him if you get what I mean all right so I want to get some soul messages now before I go I told you it's going to be a quickie today we can't always have a longie can we <laughs> Oh, wow. Straight in the bedroom. Sometimes I have bedroom fantasies about you. I can't help it. Will you wait for me even if I take too long? <laughs> no. I mean, yes, of course we will, won't we? <laughs> uh, all I want to do is massage your soft skin. Wow, very sexual cards coming through a little bit. Can I trust you fully? Tell me this in our next communication. This is because he wants to tell you a secret of some kind. I feel you in 5D. It's absolute bliss. When you get mad at me, I feel uncomfortable. Well, don't do that, Divine Feminine, because you want to stay in your heart space. Remember, I want to call you baby. And I want to protect you. Yes, he does. Very much so. So if your divine masculine's not coming in, I want you to feel him, you know, in your heart space or telepathically or however you would like to describe that feeling. And remember that this twin flame journey is a journey of unconditional love. So no matter how he's showing up in the physical reality, Give him love, give him love, give him love. And for those divine masculines who are still in their distorted energy, that will help them to come out of this distorted energy and into the divine energy, which is once your divine masculine is in his divine energy, all of that love, all of that amazing bliss will absolutely blow your mind because... There'll be a, a connection like no other, a communication like no other, um, a telepathic ability to understand each other, and you'll be best friends as well as lovers. <laughs> and so that's what you've got to look forward to. If you're still in separation with your divine masculine, that's what you've got to look forward to because once they awaken and become divine right as opposed to distorted <laughs> the love that you've seen in movies or you know in Hollywood or whatever will be nothing compared to what he'll bring to you okay you know it won't even you know like the notebook and Titanic and uh, I'm trying to think of a few other ones I don't know, even Fifty Shades of Grey, if that's your thing. <laughs> you know, it'll be even better than that. You won't know yourself with your divine masculine. And many of you are already, you know, in that place with your divine masculine. But I'm telling you that it gets, you know, it'll be better and better and better and better and better. And each time you come together, you will kind of unlock each other more. Okay. I hope this message finds you well. And I hope you have a beautiful day, night, afternoon, evening or morning, wherever you are. Cookie's saying goodbye and Donkey's here biting my finger, <laughs> looking and staring you down, telling you not to worry. Don't be worrying. Stay in your heart space. Okay, if you need me, my details are down below. I love you all so much and thank you for being here. And I'll see you real soon. Don't forget. Oh, last thing. Don't forget. Ask me your questions for my next Twin Flame concept video. Any question about the Twin Flame journey will be answered in one of my videos upcoming soon this week. Alrighty. And then we can really delve into, you know, maybe what's blocking your journey. So it can be any question you like. It can be about anything you want that you feel you need to know. Okay. Bye. Bye.